if Allah wanted, he would not have created haram. They would have only been halal. But Allah created haram for you to get closer to him by disciplining yourself and holding back from doing things that are displeasing to him. That's why he created haram. He created haram so that you can engage in an act of worship known as abstention for the sake of Allah. He created haram so that wherever you faltered, you can engage in an act of worship known as repentance for the sake of Allah. Allah Almighty created all of this as a test for us, mankind. That's why he says in the Quran, I have not created mankind or jinn kind except that they worship me. That's one verse. Another one. Allah says, Do, does man think it is sufficient for him to just say, I'm a believer, and then he won't be tested? Allah says, we have tested those before you as well. We have tested those before them, them meaning all of us. In order to distinguish between those who are truthful in their claim, and those who are false. You claim to worship Allah. You claim to be a believer. You say, I'm a believer. Allah says, well, we're going to test you now. And that's one of the reasons why a believer has more tests than one who doesn't believe. You are in, like I say, you're in the school. You have enrolled for the examination, so you will be tested. The others are not in the school. They have not enrolled in the examination. They will enjoy outside. But when the qualification comes, who gets it? You get it. Because you were in it, you struggled, you were tested, and you passed your test, and you were tested again, a more difficult test. And as you grew older, the tests became more and more difficult, but you passed them all the time, and you had the manual, and you studied it. What is it? The Quran and the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And you corrected yourself, you went back, and you passed those exams. But the others who don't even believe, they're not even in the school, they haven't even enrolled. So Allah says, don't be, don't allow yourself to be deceived by those who are distant from us and yet they're enjoying the life on earth Allah says we will give them on earth if they did good we will give them goodness on earth for you we've kept it for the hereafter